Hello, Lost in Translation tubers. Welcome back to Let's Play Diablo with me, Blue Ankylo. Last episode, we got cut off by some internet problems, so probably ended that episode a little short. And it's a new day, and hopefully my internet will last a little better this time. I don't know. Some server maintenance or something might have been happening last time that dropped my entire internet connection, so that sucked. So all I've done, really, uh, between the end of last episode and now, was I just put down a town portal, came back to town, because, you know, didn't want to save it inside of a dungeon. But we are on the fourth floor of the nest, so we'll be finishing that up shortly, but, you know, while we're in town. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Let's ID, ID some stuff. Also, oh, you can't ask, right, you can't, you can't talk to villagers about Hellfire quests, because they, uh, they didn't, uh, keep on the original voice actors for the Hellfire expansion, so we can't ask anybody about the Defiler, sadly. So we have a very fire-resistant amulet, and uh, not a very good accuracy, well, a, de a dexterous ring, which is nice and all, but uh, not really good enough compared to what we want nowadays. A crystal mace of the giants, not really necessary. And a very powerful mole and, you know, shields and stuff. We don't really use melee weapons, so we'll just sell it all. I will double check the uh, amulet, though, because we've had something similar. We've got a plus 46 fire resistant amulet, so... That's my uh, resistant stash, my magic stash, my uh, spare portals... Of my spare town portal scrolls. All the good stuff. So let's make a little bit of money. Whoa, what can I do for you? At least the amulet's worth a bit. Ring, not so much. Mace is decent. Decent. You know, all this stuff is worth a little bit. You know, I got another 20,000 gold. That's, you know, almost a level up. Ring of accuracy that's not so accurate. Well, yeah. I do have a book of phasing. We're not going to learn that spell because phasing, I've talked about it before, but it's just a random teleport. You don't have any control over where you end up, so, eh. Who wants that? I sense a soul in search and, you know, of almost a thousand gold. Alright, so that should be all of our sales. Uh, but there is one more thing we can do with our stacks and stacks of gold. We can buy stuff <clears throat> to make our make ourselves stronger. I sense a soul in search of answers. Like elixirs of dexterity. Five thousand gold. Bam, permanent dex. So yeah, we've been doing this ever since we got down to hell. Um, spare gold just turns into stats right now. We could try to save up for buying some weapons and armor, but uh, for now, well, what can I do for you? It's fairly rare that we'll find anything really good in here, and um, it's going to be super expensive. Like, if we find something we want, it's probably going to be like 50, 60, 70, maybe even over a hundred thousand gold. And I'd rather just hope for a rare drop and just guaranteed spend our money on things that will permanently make us stronger. Like, for now, dexterity. Um, <clears throat> we might want to put some points into vitality at some point, and magic. Like, magic will help us learn spells and cast magic a little bit more frequently, but there's not a lot of magic I want to cast. And vitality, you know, will keep us alive, so... I can see an argument there, but hey, look, we got another plus one to damage. And, um, yeah, I mean, that was only three points of dex, not bad. Let me, uh, spend the rest of our gold, though. What ails you, my friend? Real easy. The old save load trick to save scum another dex potion. But there we go. So the, uh, rogue's cap for dexterity, I'm pretty sure it's like 250, so we've got a long way to go to get to max dexterity. And, um, at some point, I might start putting level ups into vitality, because you can't buy vitality potions. But you can always buy Dexterity and Magic and Strength potions, but once they're capped, like Strength, um, you can only level up into Vitality, basically. So we should put, we should kind of preserve our level up points for maybe the stat that we can't just buy our way, but... We're already in hell, yeah, well. It's true. Alright, so there's no auto map available in town, as we know. Let's head on back down. So we are, let me make a save here, we're hanging out down here in the nest on the fourth floor. This is right about where my internet cut out, so we started somewhere on the right side and, you know, usually I'd finish a whole floor in one run, but, uh, 
We got interrupted, so. Let's see what else is down here. There were some enemies with a ranged magic attack that did a lot of damage, so. I'll keep my eyes open for them. It was not the flame. Fireballs didn't do that much. Oh good, a bastard sword. A magical bastard sword, even. So I, I have talked about this one, you know, fair bit, but definitely seems like the enemy density in this dungeon, the nest, is, is actually pretty chill. It's been a nice little break from being in hell where the packs come in groups of like 20. Just one little torch ant all on his own, you know. That's not gonna kill him. And I still don't think they do all that much damage anyway, really. Potentially a new bow for us, you never know. But we would need a pretty good enchantment to want to upgrade our bow right now. Well, I guess that's a full loop of the dungeon. There must be something in the middle, though, because we still have a quest. Alright, yeah, the spiders are kind of jerks. I remember that now. They shoot acid at you, which we don't resist very well. And then it leaves spots on the ground, yeah. I mean, giant spiders are always jerks. Shouldn't surprise anybody. What is this, Australia? Some baking soda? Mm. Let's let's chemistry. Does chemistry work in Diablo? That'd be that'd be pretty cool. It's like we're playing um, Divinity: Original Sin. Where you just... I smell your terror. I am running away. It's true. Uh, so that's the boss of this area. <laughs> that's the Defiler. Very good aiming. I like that. Oh, good. Just don't move. All right. Don't worry, I know how to kite this boss, we'll be fine. There we go. <laughs> ah, get out of here. Punk. <laughs> this dungeon was way too easy. Alright, so we got ourselves a map of the cathedral with a little graveyard and a little cross. And uh, put me here. So I hope you enjoyed this dungeon, that's the end of it. This is why it was supposed to be in the last episode, because there really wasn't very much left. But there you go! We've cleared a dungeon. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Uh, de de a precise bow and a precise sword. Well, you know, if we wanted to do melee damage, that would be a sword that does pretty good melee damage. Same as our bow. But... I don't believe in swords this time around. And then the bow is worse. It's not that much worse, but it's a little bit worse. Alright. Sell those off. Well, what can I do for you? Another eight thousand gold. I guess I'll turn that into another potion. Maybe buy some more blue potions, and then we'll just go check out uh, where this goes. What ails you, my friend? Hundred and twenty-five base dexterity. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna buy a couple yeah, blue mana potions. So that 
The nest at the bottom right of the map, that's cleared now. We're totally done in there. there I mean, there might be an enemy hiding in the corner, but eh, it's all done. I sense a soul in search of answers. Okay, some mana potions for casting some spells. Still have a reserve town portal scroll. And a cathedral map. Also, the the farmer should be really happy now that we've cleared that dungeon. I heard the explosion from here. Many thanks to you, kind stranger. What with all these things coming out of the ground, yes, monsters it, taking it over is the, the church and so forth. These are trying times. I'm but a poor farmer, but here, take this with my great thanks. But a poor farmer with an auric amulet. Okay, so the cool thing about this is it makes it so the stacks of gold can be up to 10,000 rather than 5,000. But generally, it's not what you want to carry around because you want your amulets to give you stat ups or something or resistances. So for now, I'm just going to stash it in my pile of stuff. And uh, it is, you know, it's, it's not a bad item and it's kind of useful for moving large amounts of gold, but... Yeah, he's got literally a golden amulet. I'm but a poor farmer. Okay, so uh, this might look a little suspicious, you know. Just this weird statue with demons and stuff on it. We'll just throw the map on it. Welcome to the crypt! The second! This is a place of great power. The second new dungeon added in the Hellfire expansion. And sure, it looks a little bit like a previous dungeon, but way more glowy and evil. Now this dungeon, unlike the nest, which was pretty chill, this is not going to be pretty chill. This should be on par with the difficulty of hell. Although we'll figure that out soon enough. As a general rule, melee enemies aren't that bad. So this is cool, we can oil up our bow. Oh, hold on. Music's louder in here than anywhere else. Okay, hopefully you guys can still hear me and not have the uh, the audio take over. But anyway, we've got this oil of sharpness. We can oil up our bow even more. Plus two to max damage. Pretty good. All right, we've got all kinds of evil monsters. I guess uh, one of the nice things about this dungeon is that there's lots of choke points. There's lots of uh, doorways and stuff. So it's a little bit easier than... Maybe it's a little bit easier than hell because the maps are kind of generous. Uh, I'm gonna keep stacking up that dex. We're just gonna not get hit. The, the plan for vitality is to just don't, don't get hit. Easy. Alright, so there are ranged enemies. Are doing a very good job of shooting this one. It would be really nice if we could get some good resistances sometime around now, but we'll see what happens. I'm liking our damage output though. Classic glass cannon build. I think all my Diablo builds are glass cannon builds. It's just the way I roll. Every now and then I'll try to remember to cast a search spell, which will highlight dropped items. Pretty good. Take that, punks. Okay, we got uh, a trapped chest. One thing I was planning on testing out was more... We've tried to, uh, like, unlock these from range before and it didn't work. So I'm going to try to keep track of op unlocking them, like using the disarm skill, from adjacent to them and see if that's more reliable. Might be one of those little quirks for the rogue. I really like the uh, enemy variety in, in the Hellfire dungeons. When you go to Hell, like the vanilla Hell, 
there's only ever like two enemies per floor. And it's generally a Steel Lord or some sort of giant knight guy and a succubus. And I mean, they come in different colors, but it's all, basically there's two types of enemies. Well, there's three. There's a giant snake thing too. But there's like three types of enemies and you just get two of them per floor. But uh, these Hellfire dungeons, they actually add quite a few different varieties. Okay, this was a complete dead end though. And with no teleport spells, we can't just bounce over a wall. But uh, we are getting experience, clearly, so we'll be getting some level ups down here. We didn't get a lot of level ups in the uh, in the nest, of course. We were a little bit too high level. Okay, hold on. That's a little dangerous. Set a trap. Just a machine gun archer fire. Machine gun bow trap. I have tried spells, threats, abjuration, and bargaining with this foul creature. To no avail. My methods of enslaving lesser demons seem to have no effect on this fearsome beast. Hmm. So there's a new fearsome beast in this area. Different than previous fearsome beasts, like maybe Diablo. Those guys have a lot of HP, though. I think the Satire Lords... The Satire Lords, not Satyr. Um, up to 100 HP, that's, that's a lot. Hey, you're supposed to be dead. Well, might as well heal up. Alright, this is very important. You've got to find three torn notes while you're in this dungeon. If you don't find all three, you're going to have a bad time. One per floor. Okay, well that's the way down, and technically we have the notes, so we could leave, but... Ah, we're not in this to speedrun it. Unless you're calling it a 100% speedrun. This could be a dangerous room. It's pretty big. Alright. Some rats. Here we are, level 22, fighting rats. No big deal. I like these grave diggers. They're so slow. We could, we could kite those guys for days. Oh boy, that doesn't look like a trap or anything. <laughs> Who wants to go uh, pick up that gold on, this, on the, uh, the pressure plate? Do I have any takers in chat? It's totally safe, probably. That's a little bit too many enemies. Just do it, yeah. How about I uh, clear out the surrounding um, monstrosities first? You'll do it with no armor. Okay. You're just going to run in there naked? It will scare the demons. Well, it'll scare somebody. I don't know how much the demons care about people naked. But. <laughs> the future tubers might have a. Th the future tubers might have something to say about that. 
Mana potions. Uh, we've got too many scrolls now. I don't need any more. It's fine. Okay, let's just clear out the back end of this before we go in there into the clearly a trap. Ooh, that's the kind of drop we're looking for. Magical plate mail. Now, it's only a breastplate, but uh, theoretically, that's the kind of stuff we could get. That's really good. Also, let's keep greasing up this bow. Two more max damage. So oily. Alright, well, let's see what happens. What's the worst thing that could happen by picking up zero gold? Cornerstone of the world. There's something you're supposed to do on these. And in the year of the golden light, it was so decreed that a great cathedral be raised. The cornerstone of this holy place was to be carved from the translucent stone and Tyriel, named for the angel who shared his power with the Haradrim. In we'll meet Tyriel one day. Drawing shadows, the ground shook and the cathedral shattered and fell as the building of catacombs and castles began and man stood against the ravages of the sin war the ruins were scavenged for their stones and so it was that the cornerstone vanished from the eyes of man the stone was of this world and of all worlds, as the light is both within all things and beyond all things. Light and unity are the products of this holy foundation, a unity of purpose and a unity of possession. So we got some more lore going on. You just gotta throw your money away and it actually did consume like a whole bunch of gold <laughs> to get that lore. Not even a new quest, although this I is tried spell. the last one. So, something about Necrol. We'll see more about that later on. It's not a social distancing bot, it's a sanitation bot. Keeps everyone nice and clean. Also, yeah, hello, Tim, and I did indeed, well, I didn't fix anything, but YouTube eventually got their stuff together, and the bots and stuff are working again, so that's fun. Which is pretty good? Well, compared to YouTube, I guess. <laughs> Come to your death, demononic spawn. I got lots of arrows for all y'all. The arrow generator never gives up. Also, hello there, Loxina. Oh, something dropped a ring or something back there. There we go. That's the kind of stuff we want to find. <clears throat> Still no fire res, sadly. That was just some chain mail. Stop it! Freaking fireballs starting to hurt! Making me use my own heal potions to heal?
Okay, this floor is almost clear. Hey, bad grave diggers. Back off. Social distancing. Social distancing. Flatten the curve. I mean, that's what I'm doing, right? If there's no hosts available for the virus, then it can't spread. I mean, I might, I might not recommend this practice in the real world, but <laughs> just stand on your roof shooting arrows at everybody. I mean, it might help. Video games save lives. <laughs> Gotta kill some to save the rest. Uh, I think we're done this floor. Not too bad, not too bad. A little bit dangerous, but only having to use a couple heal potions. Could have been a lot worse. Might have missed a little bit. We did find the torn note, which is very important. On the next floor, we'll be looking for another torn note. I don't really care about these runes. The runes aren't very powerful. They're neat ideas, but traps just, I don't know. They don't do enough damage in this game. We'll have to go play, uh... Oh, I'll take a scroll of mana. We have to go play, uh, Diablo 2 with a trap assassin. That's one I haven't ever tried, but I've been thinking about. would be kind of fun. Because the traps in that game are way better. Oh, we could keep this door shut. And then just shoot people through the window here. We don't do this very often. Here's some, <laughs> here's some camping for everybody. Looks like there's nothing back there to shoot, but still. Should probably save every now and then though. Ooh, <laughs> an elixir of strength. Sadly, we've already capped our strength. Elixirs are usually really nice to find, but once you've capped your, your stats, then they're just gold. Okay, that's the way down, but, you know, we're not done on this floor yet. This place is pretty hot. I like all the little magma. Whatever you call them. <laughs> Decorations. So in case you forget, the uh, search spell I'm just casting every so often, just in case we find something highlighted on the ground that I wouldn't have seen normally. It's really nice. That was a new monster too, Skull Wings? That's too many. The good news is the Skull Wings seem to be pretty fragile. Yeah, they die real quick. Do we want an even sharper bow? I mean, at some point, we're going to get a stronger base bow, and continually making this one better and better is just going to get harder to upgrade, but... That's another plus one to max damage, so... I guess I'll keep stacking it up while we can. Gotta find, I gotta find that, uh, that special scroll. I 
Maybe uh, rend this room a little quick. Uh, we can handle it. We're tough, right? That's not the button I meant to press. Oh well. <laughs> It's totally fine, totally fine. Just burning through all my potions. I mean, potions at this point are also pretty cheap, so it's not a big deal. You might as well just use them and uh, restock whenever you need, whenever you're in town. So blacksmith oil only repairs, but our bow actually has taken a lot of damage. I'm pretty bad at remembering to repair things, so there you go. Should just pay Griswold to repair it every time you go to town, but... Lazy Ankylo. I think the enemies in this area are power-wise very similar to the enemies in Hell, but they seem to come in much smaller groups, which makes this a little bit easier than going through Hell. Let's make our weapon even more accurate, why not? I don't actually think going above 100% accuracy really does anything though. I mean, maybe it does. These guys, man, I love killing those guys. So weak. I'm getting close to another level up, too. Sneaky rat. You dirty rats. So I was uh, playing a little bit on a, a melee character a while back. Just, just a little bit, nothing crazy. Just to test it out again, because it's been so long. And I have to say that having the rogue's infinite range is really, really, really nice. Um, once you start fighting enemy casters or archers, if you're playing as a melee character, they just they run away at the same speed you chase them, and you can end up just chasing one monster all the way across the map while the rest of them shoot you from behind. Like it gets really frustrating, just trying to catch up with the ranged enemies, whether they're mages or archers. So. Having ranged yourself pretty much eliminates that problem. So, highly recommend it. Super easy in uh, PS1. Well, I'm starting to think that the Rogue is one of the pretty much possibly the strongest character. I mean, the, the Sorcerer is really good with the whole Town Portal, Mana Shield stuff, but the. Um, the rogue just you don't even have to think about enemy resistances or like so many mechanics you just ignore just kites and shoot your arrows stack that decks and don't worry about it another plus one damage I'm gonna clean clear this room out before I read the book I hate getting interrupted when I'm reading. Mm. 
Still haven't found that uh, torn note yet. I'm running out of places to look. Some magic chain mail? Chain mail? Mostly out of inventory space once again, but that's okay. We're mostly done this floor. I mean, not to jinx it, but we haven't died yet as a rogue. This could have been a hardcore run so far. It's been... We've had a couple of close calls. Basically, magic damage with no resistances. And that's just bad gearing. Bad luck with drops for uh, resi resistance. Another book? Interesting. Well, we've got two books to read now. What I found happened fairly regularly when I was playing as a sorcerer is I'd get kind of in a stun lock animation where the enemies would hit me and sort of... Uh, pull me back as I try to run away to kite them. Doesn't seem to happen very often playing as a rogue. She's probably got a lot better armor class just on default because dexterity adds to your ar armor class, whereas the intelligence for your sorcerer doesn't doesn't help your survivability at all. Other than, of course, mana shield. But Mana shield doesn't reduce hits. It just, you know, converts damage into mana damage. Life damage to mana damage. My home is slowly becoming corrupted by the vileness of this unwanted prisoner. The crypts are full of shadows that move just beyond the corners of my vision. The faint scrabble of claws dances at the edges of my hearing. They are searching, I think, for this journal. Suspicious. And there should be another... Yeah, right here. In its ranting, the creature has let slip its name. Necrol. I have attempted to research the name, but the smaller demons have somehow destroyed <laughs> my library. Stupid demons. Necrol. The name fills me with a cold dread. I prefer to think of it only as the creature, rather than ponder its true name. Creatures destroyed my library. Alright, well I still haven't found the note, and I'm pretty sure there's one note shard on every floor, so we've, we can't leave yet. We've got to find it. And it shouldn't be in a chest or anything, it'll just be like laying on the ground. Whoa. The trap nearly killed me! Probably should save, I guess. <laughs> Every time I almost die, it's a good reminder to save. Oh, this is it, right there in the corner. Alright. Pick it up, please. That is two notes. Some more magic armor. Nice. Even if it's not good for equipping, it's good for selling. Yeah, we can do this. Need to buy some uh, healing potions next time we go back to town. So as long as they don't, these don't have like a negative enchantment, they should uh, they should be worth a lot of money. Okay. 
That's two floors done. We still have uh, two more to go, but I think it's time to go back to town. So I'll just go to the next floor and then we'll go back to town. Sell some stuff. Yeah, we're not going to get a level up in the near future, so... All right, Kane, show me what we got. Tell me Hello, what we got. my friend. Stay a while and listen. So, we've got a Bow of Perfection. That's a lot of dexterity. Man, I, I don't know what kind of bow we're going to be looking for, but I do think I want one that has a, uh, a plus damage modifier rather than uh, just straight up. But, like, you could get a plus damage modifier of perfection, like Vicious Bow of Perfection. Maybe if if just because the two the prefix and the affix exist doesn't necessarily mean you can get them both at the same time the the way random loot spawns in these games. Sapphire plate of the ages, indestructible lightning resistance. Mail of the wolf, crimson plate of the ages. Wow, those are not very good. Of the ages is a bad. It's it's a valuable enchantment for selling, but it's not very good for equipping. That's too bad. And then a Titanic Ring. We might keep that. Basically, I like to keep... Uh, now, where would I put this? Um, something to buff up our strength. Because the best armor has a strength requirement of 90. The, plate, the, the, the breastplates are only 40, but the, the really good armor will have a strength requirement of like 90 points, I think. So we're going to need some way to boost up our strength if we, if we find a really good armor. Well, what can I do for you? So there you go, 11,000. <sighs> it's not worth it. 7,000 for the bow, the male's garbage, the plate is just not good enough. Old ring, and an axe. Still, 50,000 gold. Check for new loot or new new items for sale. What would we want? Another one of those rings, but uh, I'm not going to buy another one right now. We've got We've got lots of strength rings. Bow of the Stars. I really want to find some rings with resist all on them. We just haven't had a, we haven't had any luck on that that front. All right. Uh, so we need to go to the witch to sell the elixir of strength and the scroll of golem if I want to sell that stuff. I want to hold on to one scroll of TP and then we got a bunch of money. We can either well we're gonna turn it into heal potions too I guess. We could, uh, we can always buy more, uh, you, my friend? more elixirs. So we're at 135 decks. Now we're at 136, which technically puts us to 200 with magical enchantments. The, uh, the hard cap is like 250, but with the right gear, you can boost it up to like three or 400, so... Pretty crazy. I sense a soul in search of answers. Oh yeah, the scrolls on the ground are just spare town portal scrolls that I found, and I don't really want to hold on to. Okay, I'm selling the elixir of strength because we can't uh, drink it anymore. The scroll of Gollum, and I think that's it. So then we buy we'll buy a couple full mana potions for my own magic, and then we're going to turn the gold into uh, more elixirs, I think. I sense a soul in search of we could learn some spells, don't get me wrong. Um, there's some spells we could try to pick up. Like, we could we could learn our... We could, we could improve our heal spell or variety of other things, but... Uh, for now, I think these, these dexterity elixirs are just going to be better. Or we could just save our gold. But the dexterity potions will just continually give us more and more armor class, hit rate, dick, um, fire rate, damage. You know, it's just a straight upgrade passive. Sadly, it's gonna take a little bit of grinding, but yeah. what ails you, my friend? Uh, you can you can you can reset the shops both at Pepin's and at the witches. 
But he's got a smaller inventory list, so it's kind of easier to sort them out in his screen um, than at uh, the witches. Let's just organize a little bit. Make it look right. What ails you, my friend? You, my friend. I think maybe if I buy my way up to 200 base dexterity, maybe at that point I'll save up some... Well, it's more like... At some point in the near future, I'm going to stop spending gold on potions because I'm going to need to buy some better rings or armor or something. If we can't get a good random drop from the enemies, at some point we're going to have to give up and just buy something. But it is super expensive, so it takes a long time to save up enough money for that. Alright, so we're on Crypt level 3. We're making really good progress in here. We gotta find another note. We got Pyclopses, oh no. <laughs> what happens if it's a Cyclops, but it has two heads? Or two eyes. What's a, what's a cyclops with two eyes? Anyway, melee enemies not too dangerous as long as I keep my distance. There's the way to level four. Oh yeah, infravision's fun. We'll turn that on. Crypt Demons. These are a lot tankier. Still melee though. A Biclops. There you go. Thanks, Rides. And we can see these guys through the wall, but I can't get over there. This is another complete dead end, oddly enough. But Oh, I guess I should open the sarcophagus. Okay, well. If you're trying to speedrun it, you can just rush right down to the bottom. Tim would run right down. They look super creepy. Oh, the guys to the walls? Yeah. Infravision lets you see them in a red outline before you can see them in your normal light radius. That's not their normal look. Oh, no. We're going to need to use some choke points here. These guys are... They take a few arrows to kill, so... I can't get surrounded. Ooh, field plate. That's some better stuff. So field plate... Um, that's a tear up from the breastplates. We've seen some of it before, but... If I could get the right enchantment on it, we'll be laughing. Yeah, see how they were red for a second there? Same thing over here. The enemies behind the walls are all red. Open the door, now they're the normal color. Infravision doesn't make a huge difference. But sometimes it's nice to know what you're getting into before you uh, open a door, go around a corner. Okay, I think the Reapers are basically the strongest enemies down here. Like, the strongest melee enemies in this dungeon, I think. That could be incorrect, so, you know, Blue Ankylo is once in a while incorrect. But, um, I definitely remember those being some of the more powerful of the melee enemies. Yeah, having Infravision is nice. Unfortunately, there's no way to, like, uh, learn the spell in your spell book. So, unless you find a scroll, 
Not much you can do about it. So usually when I pick up a scroll, I just read it and it lasts for a while and then you're back in the dark. Another dead end though. Yeah, that little sound effect was the search spell running out. Depending on how I've got the audio balance set, you can... The, the uh, sound design for this game is really good, like... It's pretty immersive and there's unique sound effects for most things, so... Once you're familiar with the game, you'll be able to identify what's going on just by listening to it pretty well. That's too much. Too close! Social distancing! Stay within three tiles of the archer, please! Everyone must stay three tiles back. Let's do a little spread fire here. And yeah, there's some guys over there. You don't need a scroll of infravision. Just, just, just keep shooting off into the darkness. There you go. Anybody else? <laughs> I try not to do that too often because it's it feels pretty cheaty. It's fun and all, but you know. Just shooting randomly into the darkness with infinite arrows would probably slow down the let's play a fair bit if I did that all the time. You know what other game this is reminding me of that I kind of have a little bit of a hankering to check out again is... Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, the uh, action RPG version of Baldur's Gate. Some of you may be familiar with that one. It's a pretty good game. Not really much like the original Baldur's Gate, but more like Diablo. Yeah. <laughs> and it's got some pretty sweet multiplayer too, two-player co-op. Hey, how dare you survive an arrow to the face? Okay. Oh, what was that? Just a shield. You've heard good things about it? Yeah. It's, you know, PlayStation 2 era game, so it's not the most complicated or anything, but as far as Diablo clones, it's a good one. I think it just, it confuses people that were expecting another Baldur's Gate game, because it's definitely not Baldur's Gate style. But like, there was a time in PC gaming and just, con just gaming in general, where every second new release was some sort of Diablo 2 clone. Dungeon Siege was really cool. I remember that one was really nice. I mean, it had some big flaws, but it had a really cool soundtrack. It had a good idea. All right, that corner should be empty now. Let's be smart, put a save down. You know, all in all, we're still cutting through these enemies pretty smoothly. Not taking too much damage. Our biggest weakness by far, well, is also breaking my bow that I'd never remember to repair. But, um, it's really just groups of magic casters. Big, big groups of magicians that use fireballs and stuff. How come no one remind me to repair my bow back when I was in town? What do I pay you guys for? Thanks, rides. 
We're just gonna assume that Rides has got like a a ten minute delay, and he he actually reminded me ten minutes ago, but you know, due to due to the internet delay, I didn't see it till now. I'm getting in pretty deep here. Uh... Hey, you're also supposed to be dead. Well, there's lots of baddies down there. Yay, level up! That's what I was waiting for. All right, level up. Bam. More stats, more damage. More glass cannon. I mean, what are you doing playing an action RPG if you're like building to be tanky? Psh. Kill your enemies quicker. Don't worry about HP or health. All points to dexterity and strength. Ooh. Well, we are mostly filled up our inventory. So if we have to go back and repair the bow now, it's fine. You know, I like to I like to fill up the whole inventory before I go back to town. But... Hey there, David. We are exterminating demons with great I don't know. <laughs> Vengeance or I don't know. We're, we're doing good. We're The, the demon stand no chance. Oh boy, the demon stand a chance. My bow's broken. <laughs> Flee. We're, we're not we're not defeating any demons right now. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Yeah, all your weapons have durability stats. So as you use them, your as you attack with your weapon or take damage, your armor or your weapons will uh, do bows specifically have no durability in D2? That's weird. I feel like a bow would still wear out. You'd have to... It's not the same as hitting a sword against a... A monster, but, you know, your bow, it's all springy. Like, the more you use it, the more the... I mean, I don't know how you'd repair it. <laughs> but you get a new bowstring, at least. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. All right, did we get anything good? Glorious field plate of deflection. That's actually pretty good. 89% extra armor. Um, that's one of the better prefixes. Minus four damage from enemies isn't the worst. Shields garbage. Oh, that's not even a magic bow. Bad shields. Ring of wizardry. Okay, well, we'll keep that. Now we've got two magical rings. If we want to learn magic, we can equip the amulet, the, both the rings, the sword, and the armor. So we don't have a shield... But everything else, like, we're starting to get a full set of magic gear. Uh, this is 65 strength. Hmm. I think I have to keep this one. That's going to be really nice. Like, I can... Well, I could just equip it. Who needs 10% resistances? Plus, that's, like, more damage. And, uh... Yeah, watch the armor class here. 72 to 124. That's that's a big, big upgrade. We're missing out on some vitality and the hit recovery, but that doesn't matter. Just not being hit is more important. Yeah, we're going to say goodbye to Arcane's Valor. Valor. And we're going to say hello to having actual plate mail. Enjoy those pixels, everybody. And we're going to sell the Ring of Truth at this point. But I am going to hold on to this Ivory Amulet for now. It's Magic Resistance Amulet, Lightning Resistance Amulet, and Fire Resistance Amulet. If I could just combine them all to a Resist All, then I'd be laughing, but... I'll keep it for now. Whoa, what can I do for you? Alright, goodbye Ring of Truth. 
Blessed Shield, Dumb Shield. Arcane's Valor, you served me well for a long time, but time to go. I think we've checked all these out before. That's a high damage range bow there, wow. If we if we end up grinding for stuff, we're going to be looking for some sort of modifier like Vicious or Deadly on the bow plus something else. But this is also a bow that we put like five oils of sharpness on. So it's gone from 3 to 7 damage to 3 to 12 damage. Like this has already been upgraded a lot. So it's going to be difficult to beat that out. All right. Oh, don't forget, oh, Blue. What can I do for you? Spend your money to repair stuff. <laughs> Holy smokes. Goodbye all your money. Three grand for your bow, 15 grand to fix up that plate mail we just picked. That's... Just imagine how expensive this would have been to buy. It's 15,000 to repair it. We can we can show off exactly how much it would have cost to buy it. I'm not going to sell it. I'm just going to show you. Times four. So that's uh, almost 160,000 gold plate mail to buy. Oof. Anyway. You got like ten fingers? Well, yeah. I think it's like magic. You, you can't stack too much magic on the same... Um, the same hand, you know, they, they 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 interfere with each other, like uh, like electrical waves, magnetic waves. Put too much magic on your hand, and you're gonna turn into Thanos or something. It is pretty glorious, yeah, I like that. All right, well, we spent all of the money we just made, but we got some cool armor, and our bow is fixed. Oh yeah, we're under attack! But, with our improved armor, other than magic damage, of course, which we have even less resistance to, um, but we should actually be fairly difficult to hit. Uh, I would say 124 armor class for normal difficulty should pretty much carry us through to the end. We're not a melee fighter. But, what hits we will take, we should be, we should be pretty safe. I mean, we're still mostly trying to protect ourselves by playing smart and staying at range, but... Also, uh, that's... Just what I was looking for. Three notes recombined. Whoever finds this scroll is charged with stopping the demonic creature that lies within these walls. My time is over. Even now, its hellish minions claw at the frail door behind which I hide. I have hobbled the demon with arcane magic and encased it within great walls, but I fear that will not be enough. The spells found in my three grimoires will provide you protected entrance to his domain, but only if cast in their proper sequence. The levers at the entryway will remove the barriers <laughs> and free the demon. Touch them not. Use only these spells to gain entry, or his power may be too great for you to defeat. So when I was playing as a sorcerer, I never found all the notes, so I just hit the lever and let him out. If you let him out without doing the spells, he's immune to fire and lightning, which just makes it pretty hard to kill him with a mage. Not impossible, I got it, but it was much, it was, it was some work there. There's another book. <laughs> they almost got me. Nice try, Reapers. Imagine actually being in a crypt. Yeah, well, this whole game is... Uh, it's definitely closer to a horror game than, like, an action game. They changed it all with Diablo 2 and eventually 3. Someone, I've heard a comparison, it's kind of like, uh, to a point anyway, 
it's kind of like how the first Alien movie was more of a horror movie, and then Aliens, the sequel, was more of an action movie. And I, I think Diablo is it's definitely got a bit of that going for it. It went off real hard on the gothic horror for the first game. And then it lost a lot of it for Diablo 2, and from what I've seen, it's lost all of it for Diablo 3. I don't even know what Diablo 3 is trying to be at this point. Oh, so basically, uh, Necrol is, of course, the big boss of this dungeon. And, uh... If you release him without doing the, uh... The magical spell, I believe he's actually a little bit stronger than Diablo. But if we do the spell debuff, he'll be weaker than Diablo. You're excited for Diablo 4? Well... I hope it's good. But... I, I basically barely even played Diablo 3. I was so disappointed. My time is quickly running out. I must record the ways to weaken the demon, and then conceal that text, lest his minions find some way to use my knowledge to free their lord. I hope that whoever finds this journal will seek the knowledge. Yeah, read the books, guys. You have to read the books. You gotta, you gotta use your brain. This is a, <laughs> this is a Sierra game. It's not quite King's Quest, but if you don't read the books and solve the riddle, you're gonna, you're gonna have a hard time. Shoutouts to all the, uh, old school Sierra games. Alright, now... Was there another book that I read somewhere, or didn't read? I think in the bottom left here, I'm like, I'll read this later, and then I forgot. And then my bow broke. And when I say bottom left corner, I mean, I don't even know. It's possible I missed one of the tomes. Ah, oh, there it is. The entrapped creature's howls of fury keep me from gaining much needed sleep. It rages against the one who sent it to the void, and it calls foul curses upon me for trapping it here. Its words fill my heart with terror, and yet I cannot block out its voice. We'll break down some of those, uh, vile, uh, words that it spews at you. The, the live audience wants to know what this demon has been shouting at you from behind its walls. <laughs> you can't just tease us like that. But yeah, I'd say D3 is kind of like almost generic hack and slash at this point, yeah. It's kind of too bad. I mean, I guess at this point it doesn't even have... It's, it can't really have any of the same team responsible for Diablo 1 or 2, right? It's They've all moved on to a completely different studio, I think. Hey, hey, permanent magic. So, calling it Diablo... Oh, boy. So we got we got some mages. We're gonna we're gonna resort to uh, cheese strats here for a second. Also, there's a flesh abomination. Some um, what's the word for those things? Ah, these are arch liches. Oh, 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 oh boy, yeah, no magic res. This floor is gonna be tricky. Diablo 4, 52 new DLCs? Well, I hope not. But, I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Diablo 4 sucks and I don't play it? <laughs> I've been not playing new Diablo games for years. <laughs> Ever since Diablo 3 never happened because World of Warcraft came out and all Blizzard series came to an end till like, 15 years later. Yeah, we've got zero magic resist and magic is pretty brutal with no resistances. Physical enemies, not bad, but magic. Now we could go pick up some magic res back at uh, back at home. We we could sacrifice some dexterity to put a magic res amulet on, which maybe we'll do if we run into a big group of them and die or something. Can't.
Come on. Luckily, they're very fragile themselves, the Arch Liches. So, they go down quick. Oof. Yeah, I don't like this much. <laughs> this 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 might be a little bit out of our powers. Holy oh boy. When they're hitting for like half my HP in one hit. I gotta be super, super careful. Oh come on. Taking advantage of angles to the door. That's my trick. Oof. All right, all right, all right. Revetoing that. That's that's Yep, that's what we get for never getting good drops. Oh boy. Uh, Alright, well, seeing as we've never seen any good resistance armor, we're just going to have to resort what to uh, whatever we can find, basically. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Screw you, game. Screw you, game. If I could just get a couple obsidian anything that I could equip. I guess we'll keep it as our new magic sword, but <laughs> punk. Whoa, what can I do for you? Don't suppose you're selling anything that's cheap, no. Alright, well, we can technically get magic res on one piece of item. This is the only magic res we've really found all game. So, sacrifice a bit of dexterity, a little bit less damage, but at least 34% magic res. Yay! There's not much else we can do, really. Other than play very carefully. Come on! We're gonna break our bow again. Yeah, if we can isolate them one at a time, it's fine, but... In a big group, they'll shred us. Yeah, Torchlight, that's right. That's that's where most of the D2 team went. Maybe that'll be the Obsidian Amulet I'm looking for. Why can't I hit him? Alright. Flesh abominations. I mean, they're tanky, but they're nothing compared to the magic damage liches. Okay, better save, better save. Where are we? This is, uh, the crypt, the hellfire dungeon. It's about the same difficulty as hell. So these guys are about as powerful as Succubi, give or take. And I have very little resistance, of course, so... Okay. Just gotta spam that magic. Or that, that arrow, that's what I mean. And just juggle the potions. I mean, we're killing them, but this is this is this is dangerous. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. Did we talk to the guy in the cow suit? No, I have not done any cow stuff yet. Oh, jeez. 
I guess if I didn't have that, um, assuming, now, this could be lightning damage, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, it's kind of yellow. I didn't need to drink two, but, couch. Oh boy, this is going to take a little while. Maybe we should switch to the lightning, uh, it doesn't feel like, you know, I switched out my amulet, this doesn't really seem to have made much difference. It is very yellow, but the color of the projectile doesn't always tell you what element it is. It's, it's weird. The uh, the succubi we were fighting, the snow witches, um, had blue projectiles, but I believe it still did magic damage anyway, because there's no cold damage. Mm, probably not going to get another level up, though. Well, uh, <laughs> we could just fight the boss with with two potions. This is uh, this is the big one. Uh, don't hit that switch though, unless you want a real good time. Pull that lever for a great time. Definitely don't want them interfering with my boss fight. Oops, not what I meant to cast. I've probably got more uh, full mana potions right now than full healing potions, so... Use some heal spells here if we need to. Kill that lich. Not enough mana. Oops. <laughs> Just throw everything on the ground. We don't need that. <sighs> it's, uh... Okay. We're fine. We're fine. There's probably not too many left, right? As long as you don't any open any more doors, nothing else can get at me. Littering is bad, yes. This is this is the uh, This is the park patrol. We're a park ranger now. I'm getting mad at all the enemies. They throw their stuff on the ground and we have to clean it up after them. Ah, uh, plate mail, but not magical, sadly. The only good thing is these guys, these liches die really easily. Yeah, we're not going to get a level up in here. There's no way. The Crypt Control. The Crypt Keeper? Telling scary stories? Not enough mana. Oops. I thought I heard a ring drop, but... Guess I didn't. Okay, we've got a good choke point here. We'll kill all these guys. can't resist going deeper and deeper. Like, we don't need to clear this dungeon. We just need to kill the boss. Whew, okay, that's another corner. Completely empty, which is good. That means there's no more enemies to jump at us from behind. You can throw the potions on the ground and then pick them up easily in a fight. Uh, maybe. The problem is the enemies are like the same speed as you. 
so it can be different, difficult if you're kiting and running around to have time to click things. Oh, all right. A lot of fire bats in here. But they do a lot less damage than the arc, arc glitches. I think the next time we have a big stack of money, I might invest some more levels in healing. Oh, good, Infravision. Hmm. What was that? An elixir of dexterity? Oh my! Puts us back at 200 dex! Thank you, dexterity potion. Luckily, he couldn't shoot through the door there. <laughs> Dumb lich. Uh, no dice game tonight. Just just the gambling game. If you want to, if you want to gamble your points away. Staff of warp. Hmm. It's a nice emergency exit. Ah, we took them down quick enough. Alright, what do you guys think? Do you think we could kill the boss? We only have, uh, well, three full heals, basically. There is more to this dungeon, but we've cleared out, like, 75% of the floor. Now... It is very important that you don't click the levers. So let's make a save. Now, you have to read them in the right order. In spiritu sanctum, predictum otium. And I don't remember the right order. In spirit, might be middle right left, or middle left right. There you go. What? Hey, look, it's a giant demon. Disturb the great <laughs> Your life is forfeit, mortal. He's pretty big. Let's do this. <laughs> Pathetic. All right, that was too easy. Hold on. Way too easy. All right, this time for all the marbles. You're in. I know you're in there. Out of my way, this is full power. Got me. He got me. <laughs> full power. He's very difficult to beat. If I had enough potions, we could probably do it. But yeah, that that's why you do the. I just want to show off the. Uh, <laughs> the dis the difference there. <laughs> there's some, there's probably some ways to trick the AI so it's you know it gets dumb. Way, but I think he can open doors so. Still got him. <laughs> DPS for the win. Even full power. Nothing can beat Machine Gun Archer. Just needed a second try. <laughs> But I think we proved that if you do the spells, it's pretty easy. And then um, if you leave them at full power, it's still doable. Just, just a little tricky. Get two magic items, I think, out of it. And uh, a book. Oh, and a book. I have no room. Well, we better go sell some of this stuff. So uh, the Book of Apocalypse is uh, a spell we'll never learn. Go sell that. Get all this stuff I need. Oh, I'm pretty sure he can go through doors. Things look big in this game, but they're still all one, one tile wide monsters. All right, well that's it basically. That was the uh, secret bonus boss basically. Fun little fight. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. 
So, I, the, the plate mail wasn't even magical. What am I doing? Hold on to that. Ah, uh, Jade Staff. Sure, Jade is what I want on, like, a ring. Sword of Titans, Bow of Sorcery, Dragon's Amulet. Lots of neat things, but none of that really very good. Now we don't need this anymore, either. Well, what can I do for you? So, there's some money, there's some money, there's some money, and there's a bunch of money. Sadly, he didn't drop anything really good. Uh, we'll sell this stuff to the witch, but first we'll go buy some healings. I think if I'd fought him with a full what stack of healing, we would have been fine, but... You gotta get him kind of stun-locked, because he attacks really quickly, and... You know, he does like half your HP, or pretty much in one shot, if you are if you have no vitality, like a certain Ankylo. <laughs> but that's Necrol. Good time. I sense a soul in search of answers. Alright, Book of Apocalypse. We could try to hold on to it and learn the spell, but it's just... We're never gonna have 149 magic. Never, anytime, no, not anytime soon. So, I'll take the money, and then we'll sell that staff. Alright, look at all that money. We're back up to... 44,000 gold. I sense a soul in search of answers. She got nothing. We, uh, we're gonna, gonna buy some cool elixirs again. What ails you, my friend? Ooh, lots for sale today. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen this many elixirs on sale. That was, what, like five dexterity? Six elixirs of dexterity for sale. That's more than a level up. That's great. But, you know, they're infinite anyway, if you know what you're doing. What ails you, my friend? Oh, wait, before I do that, we don't want to repair our bow, right? <laughs> don't forget to repair your bow. Oh, what can I do for you? Yeah, this stuff's expensive. Okay. We can uh, still afford two more, though. What ails you, my friend? Oh, I'll buy a magic elixir. We'll 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 buy it. We'll sprinkle a little bit of magic in every now and then. Primarily, we're just you know buffing up our decks, but the magic isn't garbage. It's not totally useless. So, okay. Um, all we're gonna do now. Actually, you know what? I'll try. While we were down there, it felt like the magic resistance wasn't really doing any good. So I'll try lightning resistance, and maybe we'll learn something about these arch liches. Also, for the future tubers, this has turned into an hour and a half episode. Oops. Whatever. We'll finish clearing this, and then we'll uh, we'll call it an episode. Wasn't paying attention to the time. But yeah, the dungeon here is nearly done. What am I doing? How did I get locked in there? Another amulet could be good. You gotta keep trying, we gotta get a good amulet one of these days. Ultimately, we're looking for something like Obsidian of the Zodiac. That would be like here. But I would take like Obsidian of Perfection, or something like that. Come on, where's these arc glitches? I want to see if my lightning resistance works on their yellow bolts. There we go. Now, I only got hit once. Does that seem like I took less damage? Hey there, T-Dogs. Ah, 
I mean, I don't know, man. They still do an awful lot. It's probably lightning damage, but it's hard to say. The way to test it would be to have, uh... Like, the ability to get to, like, 75%. Like, if you can get to max resistance, which is 75, um, then you'd be able to see the difference, probably, for sure. But at 33%, it just doesn't make enough difference. I think we're going to have to force the game to give us the uh, helmet I need. Because I need to get some resistances. We're... We're woefully under prepared for magic damage and there's one unique helmet I know how to get you know it's fairly easy so maybe next episode we'll talk about that for the future tubers Later, Tim. All right, could be done. Just one room of monsters. Of magic monsters. Almost as dangerous as Necrol himself, just with our bad resistance. Alright, hold up. <laughs> that's that's a pretty bad room again. Anybody else? Well, we've only had one death all game now, and it was mostly a test death that doesn't really count, right? Because I went and reloaded. <laughs> Had to fight the boss on hard mode. Just to show it off. So still, overall, I'd say we're doing pretty well. No one really counts that one. Anyway, it looks like... Other than maybe a couple more liches, we're done. At least, you know, they're not that bad. They just do a ton of damage if they hit you. They're just like me, glass cannons. All right. As far as I know, that's a full clear for this dungeon. And uh, we killed the boss, so cool. Couple more items to sell. Make a bit of money. Super long episode for the future tubers. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. 24 dex amulets. That's pretty good. My old one was plus 14, so I'll take that. Plus 3 damage, you know. Pretty good. So we're going to sell the old Dexterity Amulet. We're going to keep one of each element for now, but... Uh, and uh, we gotta, we got to find a way to get proper resistances on wow, regular armor. What can I do for you? So we're looking for... A specific type of ring or helmet or body armor. Body armor would be very unlikely. But um, one of these days we'll get some. And sadly we are at the point where just repairing our gear is pretty darn expensive too. Good armor, but it's not cheap. What ails you, my friend?
YouTube used to always tell me I was streaming when I wasn't. Now it doesn't tell you even if when I am. That's That's been my experience with YouTube. Most people are in one or the other camps. I sense a soul. They either get the notification answers. constantly or never. It doesn't really matter what I'm actually doing. Book of Nova, not worth really holding on to for us. And Staff of War, not even worth money. Wow, that's garbage. That's, I thought it'd be worth a little bit more than 200. I sense a soul in search of answers. I'll buy an elixir of magic, sure. The next time I've got like 10,000 gold or, well, I mean, I've got 2,000. I could fairly easily. I, sense a soul in search of answers. I would like to get some better healing spells, basically. Any of the Diablo clones? Yeah, I played, uh, well, Torchlight obviously was good, and uh, Dungeon Siege back in the day. We were talking about Baldur's Gate, Dark Alliance. Can you please how me one NPC? I don't know if it is here. What? Show me, I guess. What, what NPC do you want to know? Where or who? Anyway, for the future tubers, we're we got to end the episode about here. Uh, this is what I wanted to buy. I want to buy two books of healing. So uh, that's one. We're going to go buy another one. I sent and uh, in search of answers. We can just do that off camera. It's fine. Um, I'll just equip my magic armor. It'll be easy I enough. And we'll be able to heal for a little bit cheaper again, which is you know kind of nice. There it is. Uh, it didn't even take any time at all. Easy. I guess we'll do it before we end the episode. I don't know what NPC you want me to show you, though. So we've got... Just to see what our max magic is. If we equip all of our magic gear... We should have quite a lot of magic now. So we can get our magic stat up to 99, which is definitely enough to learn pretty high-level spells. Like, healing, we can go a lot higher than whatever we're at now. So level 5, level 6, level 7, keeps making the price go down a little bit, um, but yeah, we could definitely go quite a, long, quite a lot further there, so that's cool. No real need to keep the magic equipped the rest of the time, but nice for learning spells. And we can go basically plus 70 magic with what we've currently got, so that's, I'm pretty happy about that. We've had a successful magic find or magic item get, just not very good on resistances, you know. That's the real shame. Anyway, that's all for this episode. So thank you for watching, future tubers. Hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day.